Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest is on a mission to inspire people through his music, to be real, to be righteous, and to be relevant. This New Orleans bread rapper just performed at the Black Music Honor Ceremony, and now he's, he's here to talk about his new album, God and Girls. Yes. Please welcome D1. <laughs> Thank y'all for having me. I appreciate it. How you doing, Everything yeah. great. What's up, Will? Hello, hello. Ooh. Have appreciate a you. seat. Have a seat. So glad ah. to have you here after a hot night of music. Yes. yes. And let me just tell you, last night watching you, I was so inspired. But let me, you gave me a little J. Cole tease last night. Like for how you real? sat on the, <laughs> like you were sitting on the stage like, yo, I'm about to blow it up. Delita. You And you really did. Like I really yeah. enjoyed your performance. Nice. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I just I just try to make sure I have fun out there. Make sure I smile, you know what I'm saying? I'm a happy person, so yeah. I got a lot to smile about. Yeah. So. Well, well, who are you smiling at? Because I heard that you are like the husband of like a lot of women. What's oh, don't start that. Oh my. <laughs> I had to do a whole album about that, but it, the album, I had to call it God and Girls because I feel like those are the two most powerful forces in this whole world. I agree. God and women, right? Can I, I get a clap for that? Yes. Right? The only problem is, a lot of times, women have come up to me and said, well, you know what, D? God told me that you my husband. And I'm like, well, wait, he told somebody at the last show there too and somebody at the next show and I got about 150 people who told me God told them I'm their husband. So how do you respond yeah. to that? I'd be like, well, he ain't tell me yet, you heard me, but I'm gonna um, <laughs> But if he tell me, I'll holla at you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> Well, listen, there is a level of intelligence to you, too. Yeah. You were once a math teacher. I was. How did how did you segue into rapping? Like, yes. what was the connection? What For happened? sure. So uh, I'm from New Orleans, Louisiana. Uh -huh. When I graduated college, I went to LSU. Yeah. Uh, I became a middle school math teacher. Yeah. I was Mr. Augustine. Come on, yeah. Mr. Augustine. Yeah, 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 yeah. So while I was teaching, I realized how much all of my students were influenced by hip hop. Mm -hmm. They'd come in class every day rapping the lyrics to their favorite songs. They could learn that way quicker than I could get them to learn multiplication or long division. Mm -hmm. I said, you know what? If I take the talent I have, because I, I knew I was a real good rapper, mm -hmm. I said, if I take the talent and the business acumen I have, and if I can blow up as a rapper, I'll still have the influence I want over the, the youth and mm -hmm. the younger generation, but it'll just be on a more massive scale. So I'm still a teacher, but I just have a bigger classroom now. All right, now. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Like that. Like that. Those women are saying that you they husband. Uh, yeah. yes. But they but, but they lying on that man. God yeah. ain't telling them that. <laughs> 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 they lying. You exactly. know? They making they making God a gossip. Yeah. Come on now. They ain't gossiping. There you go. <laughs> well, let's talk about uh, your your song Sally May Back that was it went viral three years ago. It did. So uh, what was the relatability and the, how did you feel when it happened? Well, I didn't grow up rich, so I had to take out loans to go to college. Yeah, man. Like so many millions of Americans, mm -hmm. I'm sure I had to take out student loans. And ironically, when I signed my first record deal ever, you know, you get a large lump sum of money mm -hmm. called in advance. Mm -hmm. Instead of me buying Buku jewelry or bling bling or a brand new whip or a house for my mama, I used my advance to finish paying my loans off. That's right. Yeah. 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 This is why I can yeah. tell you. That's why the women like you. Yeah. Now, you listen, Word. you can't keep dropping the jewels like that. <laughs> I'm just saying. And then I did a song about it. So I said, I don't drive a Maybach, but I finished paying Sally Maybach. I and know that's right. People just felt it. It just struck a chord with them where they were like, bro, I can't wait till the day that I could say I finished paying my loans off as well. Yeah. So it became the anthem for anyone with student loans. They really feel this. They relate to this. Because I've been there before, not able to afford those payments. I think it costs way too much to have to go to college mm -hmm. in America. Way yeah, too much. And I'm glad that I could be an advocate and speak for, you know, uh, eradicating student loan debt. Yeah. I feel like I'm running for president up here talk, talking about, well, I'm an advocate for er eradic eradicating right. student loan debt, you hear me? I love that, I love that. So recently you met Jay-Z. How you know that? I mean, we, listen, Dang. we do our research you know, on the social media. All right, yeah, 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 yeah. So what was that experience like? And then how do you feel about him being a part of the NFL now? Right, so as far as me meeting Jay-Z, all I can say is this, I'm hot right now. Mm -hmm. I can't lie. <laughs> I'm serious. Oh, like, right I'm, I'm hot right now. I, uh, I'm, I'm back independent, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So I own my own label called yeah. Mission Vision Music. I just put my album out a month ago called mm. God and Girls. Yes, it's breaking all kind of records. Highest charting album on Billboard in my career all this stuff and these doors like meeting Jay-Z mm -hmm. they open you know yeah. what I mean people talking to me now so I got multiple major record labels that are like courting me that are like yo we mm -hmm. want to sign you so Absolutely. you know so what that, did Jay tell you to do well 
I can't tell you on air. I'm just gonna say that. I'm gonna holler at you back there. But what was the other part of the question? How do you feel about Jay Z becoming a part of the NFL? I feel like people. Uh, I feel like people who are criticizing him, they have to wait to let the whole situation play out. Just listen, that. listen, listen, listen. This might be unpopular, but I don't really care because God still love me. So uh, watch this. Yes. Listen, at the end of the day. Unless we prepare to break apart and start our own National Football League and say, you know what, uh, we don't even want to be a part of that. Unless we prepare to do that, having a seat at the table is very important, Absolutely. in my opinion. Yeah. So Absolutely. for Jay-Z to say, yo, I've broken through these doors and I have a seat at the table, let's sit back and wait to see what he does with that seat right. instead of being so quick to criticize, mm -hmm. man. I, agree. I really believe that some good can come out of this. And I think that Jay-Z is in, in a different space in life now. Mm -hmm. You could listen to his last album, Fo Fo Fo. You could just tell yeah. that this brother is trying to do different stuff. I so agree. let's give it time. Yeah. Well, it's, it's really difficult, let's be honest, to sit at the table when you're an independent artist. Mm. So how did you how did you segue yourself into that space and streaming over two million, you know, listens right. in, in a week. I mean, yeah, really, huge. it doesn't really happen that's in huge. the industry really. like this, so not I, anymore. That's why so. I take no credit for it. I make the music that's real to me. I, I try to remain authentic in everything I do. So I put out 11 amazing songs on the Garden Girls album, but that's my contribution. These fans, when I tell you about I call them MVPs. That stand for the Mission Vision Posse, right? right. These hey. MVPs all over the country, yo, they go hard behind D1, and they listen to the music. They are my street team. They consume it, they share it. So because of them, you racking up millions of streams and, and, and these doors are opening. It's all due to my fans. We are so proud right. of you, though. Yeah. Yes. Oh my God. I, I thank you for coming. We thank yes. you for coming. Yeah. Yeah. I appreciate well, it. Don't be a, a, wealth, a wealth of yeah. knowledge. I appreciate it. Guess what, guys? The God and Girls album is streaming on all digital platforms yes. now. Y'all gotta go yes. get it.